Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Gardner, and today we're gonna to talk about data gathering in performance analysis. So let's take a step back for a minute here. When we are conducting a performance analysis, the idea is to really identify what the desired performance is, what the actual performance is, and the gap between those. And so you do a lot of data gathering to really understand what's going on and, and what that gap is, so you can understand the causes of that gap and move forward with a solution that's really gonna help improve performance. So let's talk about the data gathering process that you might go through when you're doing this. So the first thing you wanna do whenever you gather any kind of a data to do an assessment or an analysis of any kind is to, to have a really good plan about the types of data you're gonna gather and the ways you're gonna get that data. So really you need to come up with that plan. Um, so that could be you know, planning who you're going to interview or the types of uh, documents you might need or the types of performance measures that the organization is already interested in. So have that plan. Have a timeline, uh, have a schedule and so forth so you know what you're going to be doing. Now the next step is gathering the actual data. And so this is where you would do all of those data gathering activities. So these could include things like interviews. I'm just going to write a few of the ideas on here. Interviews. Is that right? So conduct interviews, start with your client, whoever's hiring you, talk to them and find out what the really real issues are from their perspective. And then talk to other, lots of other people, the, the actual performers, supervisors, trainers, anyone who's involved with that group who has a stake in what's going on and has some insights on what the performance issues are and also what the causes of those issues are. So one thing to consider as you're doing this analysis, by the way, is that you're not necessarily going and gathering data about the organization and then coming back and then going and gather data about the environment and then coming back. Really, you're sort of gathering data about all of these different components of, components of the performance analysis and, and you have to tease those apart as you go. What's the cause? What are the, what are the actual gaps, right? You're pulling all that together as you go. So just a consideration there. So interviews, you might do some focus groups with some of those groups. Um, documents. That's really important. This will help you understand uh, what the organization is about, some of their strategic plans perhaps. Um, also, performance measures. You really need to know what they're currently using for performance measures and what, you know, how, they, how do they track good performance. Um, so these, and, and finally, you can do some surveys. There, there are a lot of others. Observations is another one. Lots of ways to really get a sense for what's going on. And it's kind of tricky. You have to pick the type of data gathering that matches the problem or issue you're dealing with. So if it is, uh, if there's some, if it's like an assembly line scenario, you probably better do some observations and really understand what's going on. Maybe look at the performance measures and how they're actually performing against those measures. This will help you get a sense for what's going on and see the environment in which this performance is taking place. So this is gathering the data. So after you have planned, you've gathered your data, the next step is you really got to analyze that data and draw some conclusions. So the way to do this, to draw these conclusions, is to use those categories that we saw in the performance analysis. So you might say, okay, here's this piece of data, this is telling me what the desired performance is, right? If it's the performance measures, the goals they have for the organization, right? Oh, here's the actual performance, so I'm gonna put this down here. Over here, right, so you might have the, remember the four levels we talked about, the worker level, the work level, the workplace, and then also the world. There's these different levels of performance, so you need to start organizing them in that way. So draw your conclusions according to that performance analysis sort of process that we talked about earlier. So once you have a sense for those conclusions, the next step is really to test those conclusions. And there are a few different ways to do this. So the first is just to get feedback, particularly from, say, your client or some of the other stakeholders that you might have been working with. Just present some of your thoughts and get their reflection, and they might actually give you more feedback and help you refine what's going on. So in this way, you're really going back to gathering a little more data and drawing, refining those conclusions that you have. So another way is once you really feel like you have pretty solid conclusions, you might want to test those conclusions or even quantify those conclusions a little bit more clearly with a survey that you send out to the stakeholders to get their insights, further insights on the things that you've kind of put together. Um, another approach here is to even test them out. Just do a pilot study, a pilot of what's of your solutions with a subgroup of the population you're talking about just to see if they actually work. And it may be that you kind of do these sequentially, right? You, you get feedback first, then you might go gather some more data, you survey, and then maybe you pilot something before you implement fully. So after you've tested those conclusions in, in these ways we've kind of talked about, the next step is to plan again. Okay, what's my next step? Now, 
One thing that I will say is that typically you may go through this cycle a couple of times before you really have the solution that you think is going to work best. So for example, sometimes you might have heard of a situational analysis. Really, that's just a high-level, quick look at this full process to really understand what's going on. You might gather some data, draw some conclusions, and then get some feedback on those conclusions initially. So that's, that's your situational analysis that you may do. But then you'll want to plan again and figure out how you can gather more data and more f firm up those conclusions a little bit more effectively and then maybe test some more or quantify those with like a survey. Now, so this is a cycle, right? You typically go through a couple of rounds of this, at least in my experience. Sometimes if you're pressed for time, you do it as quickly as you can and you hope for the best, right? Okay, so here's what we're, uh, once that's done though, once you feel like you're ready to go, your planning is actually planning to move on to the next stage. Which is, this is where you implement those solutions. So I'm going to write that over here, implement. Design and implement your solutions. So you're designing the solutions and getting ready to implement them over in the full organization. So this is the data gathering process that you'll go through when you're conducting your performance analysis.